walked in and I had to call the non-emergency number so the police could come out. Daniel, how big does it look? Does it look big? I didn't even see the rock right there. Welcome back to the video. I had to push it all the way back. Really? Yeah. I ran out of gas. I cut my fingers open. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, oh. <sighs> I wrecked the drone. Nice. You get it on video? Yeah. Even better. <laughs> I'm no scientist, but here we go. I doubt this will work. It worked! I blew up an airbag! Nice! That was a lot louder than last time. That was absolutely stunning. Good thing we have two. Okay, on this one, I think I'm gonna sit on it and you'll just have to... Boom! <laughs> the pumpkin's gone! <laughs> oh my god! There's pumpkin everywhere! There's a seed on my forearm! That's the greatest thing we've ever done. That worked astronomically well. Way better than I thought it would. I swear, I did not put him in here. <laughs> Why is he so big? He used to be so little. Oh my god. Okay. I don't even know how he got in the house, to be honest. I didn't even put him in here. He ran right into the class. There you go. Ow. Oh, oh, that's my finger. Screw your banana. Ow. Okay, okay. Calm down. Yeah. You're welcome, Waddle. All right, well, this is where we got the airbags. Okay. Well, this is that $2,000 car that we bought that you guys were probably wondering what happened to it. Not only have we added new doors, new steering wheel, got a new bumper, added a new drop top, we also added a cold air intake. This car is getting some adjustments, including a new radio. So, she's getting there, she's getting better in case any of you guys were wondering, but we're making making her into a mini super track car out of, I don't know. Maple, come here, come here. Oh, Waddles, where did you come from? There are the pinks and her. What the sin? Oh. Waddles, let go of his shoe. Oh my God. There's pumpkin pieces in the back area. That's how far it flew. I'm so glad we did that. If anyone has free airbags or just has airbags left around, let us know. We'll use them. I don't know what the problem is. All of our lights in here went out. The heat lamps, the main light, all of it. I think I figured it out. All the lights on? Yeah. Okay, perfect. <laughs> we used this trap for a few days. It didn't work. We so, didn't catch. Yeah, actually, that's that's actually exactly how I'd say it. So, what we need to do? Technically, I guess we just need to go return this one and get an even bigger one because we're catching something. We're we're, we're catching something. <laughs> Uh, our pigs are getting out because they haven't finished our fence. They just left it half done. That's why they're not getting any promotion. I can't fit. I don't know if you guys see that, but that's a wild maple. I'll lift it up for you. There you go. Our pigs are gonna get run over by cars. Okay, well, we need to go get a fishing rod. See, this is this is what we're looking for. We're looking for a mini fishing pole to fish in the mini pond in the backyard. Perfect. All right, throw it back to the house. Now that we got a fishing rod that's rigged up, this is gonna be the rod for the, for, well, for the backyard. He's jumping. Oh my goodness! Daniel, how big does it look? Does it look big? All right, we gotta get her back in the water. <laughs> yeah, I know, something's got it. Something's got it. There we go. There we go. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is insane. Get the size of that. Baby wallaby. Hi. Well, on a serious note, these, uh, these, there's a lot of these in here. There's probably a few hundred, but I'll let you go. Sick to be able to come into your own backyard and go fishing. <laughs> Dang, I don't even know what to say. Not well, actually, technically, I was by myself. Was it on Halloween night? It was. It was on Halloween night. She texted me right after it happened. Here's here's the thing. So on Halloween, uh, my family wasn't here. We've had people break in. We've had people shoot uh, our animals before. It's bad. Like it gets bad here. We almost made a video not last week, but the week before that. It was going to be titled "Please Stop Trespassing" because someone came to the backyard and fed all the animals dog food. I had it all in the security camera footage, but the security camera footage gets deleted after 
after seven days. So I have it for seven days unless I download it. That's the only way I keep it. I forgot to download it and I was in Puerto Rico when it happened, but someone was feeding all of our animals dog food and it really pissed me off. This is even worse. These are my security cameras. We have quite a few of them. These are the ones that I have access to that are on this side of the backyard. There's two notifications I just got now and now from the security cameras just of the animals moving. So I get them constantly. But at night is specifically when I have them on because I want to know what's happening at night, whether it's a bobcat, whether it's a person. In this case, it was a person. All right, so this is a clip right here and you can kind of see me on the camera just straight up hauling to the fence in the backyard. I'm running straight to the fence and then it goes to the next camera. If you look really closely on the next camera, when I come through the fence and I stop, I'm looking at myself like right now, you can see somebody else in the back, like it down, down towards the back of the fence. You literally see me stop, start running down there. I'm holding, well, I'm holding this large ax right here. It was dark outside, it was Halloween, I was home alone, I was literally sitting on my bed. I got a notification, I clicked on the security notification and there's literally someone coming over our back fence. And and that's kind of when you see me run down there and you can see the person in the back wearing a hoodie uh, wearing I, I, I don't even know but the first thing he told me to do is drop the knife uh, we didn't have a knife we actually had uh, a mother battle axe. I mean, <laughs> we had a, we had a, we literally had a battle axe. This doesn't have any audio on it, but uh, for a minute there, I kind of exchanged conversation between the person who was there, just saying they wanted to see the animals. So I guess seeing the animals involves jumping the fence. Obviously, this is one of those instances where I come back in and I had to call the non-emergency number so the police could come out. Uh, I don't like stuff like this. But the kid jumped back over. Really funny when he jumped back over because he actually tripped and fell. As you can see, I'm calm about it right now. At that point, I wasn't calm about it. You can literally see me sitting on my knees, pissed. Say if my family was here like my little sister you never know who's coming over the fence please stop trespassing it's so bad it really is and it happens way too often here that's why we're having this fence put up and it should be up i'm guessing not tomorrow but the next day the entire thing should be done so that should prevent a lot of this stuff but i had to make this video because it's stupid but there you go that's the footage okay Ah, uh -huh. that's what I like to see. Two miles of pure electricity straight to the hands. It's gonna suck for everyone who tries to jump the fence. I think we should go with this one. 120 miles of electrical fence. Oh my God, anyone who grabs it's just gonna <laughs> Can we get the, see, I obviously don't want to fry the animals like, cause waddles would be striped bacon instantly. But we could put it at the top of the new fence and anyone who touches it, just, you know, works or just like that. Branding. Oh, we could brand to somebody. I mean, no, I mean, no. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me, everyone. No, Bobby. Uh-uh. Okay. Well, guys, hopefully y'all enjoyed today's video. It's a, it's an interesting one. Hopefully a lot of y'all are new. So if you've yet to join the channel, you should join the channel or go to thefanaticbrand.com and get the merchandise. But no, all the animals are doing good. It's, un it's I don't like making videos like these. That's why I didn't film it when it happened because I was really, really angry and I hate being angry on camera. I've calmed down a lot more about it now, especially because we have the police here, you know, all that stuff. But you know, I filmed that before, been there, done that. Please don't come to the house. Uh, the person who probably did that, I guarantee they're watching this video. Why? Well, I mean, I did exchange a conversation with them why they were here. And the one thing he did say is he was gonna take a picture with the animals uh not cool at all you can watch them on youtube you know please don't do that but if you enjoyed today's video click the like button if you're new click the subscribe button i love you guys we'll catch you in the next episode peace